One day while the Buddha was preaching, his doctrine for the conversion of the man of great wealth who suffered from many ailments came to him with clasped hands and said, O oh Lord Buddha, pardon me for my want of respect and not saluting you as I ought to, but I suffer greatly from obesity, excessive drowsiness, other complaints, so that I cannot move. Without a pain, the Tathagata, seeing the luxuries with which the man was surrounded, asked him, Have you a desire to know the cause of your ailments? And when the wealthy man expressed his willingness to learn, Buddha said, There are five things which produce the condition of which you complain opulent. Dinner's love of sleep, hankering after pleasure, thoughtlessness, and lack of occupation, exercise, self-control at your meals, and take on yourself some duties that will exercise your abilities and make you useful to your fellow men in. Following this advice, you will prolong your life. The rich man remembered the words of the Buddha and after some time having recovered his lightness and youthfulness, he returned to the world honored one and coming this time without horses and luxuries, he said to him, Master, you have cured my bodily ailments. I come now to seek enlightenment of the mind and Buddha said the world link nourishes his body, but the wise man nourishes his mind. He who indulges in the satisfaction of his appetite works his own destruction, but he who walks in the path will have both the salvation from evil and a prolongation of life. You see, in life, if we only feed our belly and our desires, what will become of us if you sleep too much, walk around without any thoughts and just chase after pleasure without being of any use to your community or your fellow men? What will become of you if you are now just a small young root? What kind of tree will you become if you live this way? Always find the yin and yang, the right amount of sleep, nourishment, and usefulness. Enjoy life, but also have an occupation and have a meaning in your life. I've set yourself some goals and always try to nourish your mind and grow in your mind so you can understand what happens in this universe. This is there to do motivation stories. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.